Milarman Rahim. Today we will talk about large loop exchange of transformation zone, which is a commonly performed procedure for the cervical intraepithelial neoplasia and several other gynecological problems. What is the definition of large loop exchange of the transformation zone? It is a loop used for exchange of abnormal cervical tissue as manifested by abnormal pap smear or colposcopy. What are the indications of large loop exchange of transformation zone? First is that of the epithelial cell abnormality. Secondly, the unsatisfactory colposcopy. Thirdly, the finding of cervical intraepithelial neoplasia during endocervical curettage. And fourthly, the cytological or histopathological evidence of premalignant and malignant glandular epithelium. And most commonly, this procedure is performed for the therapeutic conization for cervical intraepithelial neoplasia type 2 and type 3. What are the contraindications of large loop exchange of transformation zone? This procedure should be avoided during pregnancy, otherwise there is no other known contraindication to the use of this procedure, but the use of external or internal pacemaker and the woman's condition may require special precautions. What are the complications of large loop exchange of transformation zone? First is that of the moderate to severe intraoperative hemorrhage. Secondly, the cervical incompetence leading to miscarriages. Thirdly, the cervical stenosis and fourthly, the perforation of the uterus. But the perforation of the uterus is very rare and it occurs only in the menopausal woman mostly. The other complications include infections or infertility. What are the advantages of large loop exchange of transformation zone? First of all, this procedure can easily be done in outdoor patient department. Secondly, the rapid performance. Thirdly, it is technically easy procedure. Fourthly, the equipments required in this procedure are inexpensive. Another advantage is that this procedure has got low complication rate. And another advantage which is worth mentioning is that we get good specimen by performing this procedure. What are the disadvantages of large loop exchange of the transformation zone? Those include first of all some thermal damage. Another disadvantage is that large and deep cone may be difficult to perform in office setting and result in more thermal damage if second loop exchange is required. Now, how to perform the large loop exchange of transformation zone? First of all, make sure that the required equipment is present. After taking consent, putting the patient in appropriate position, insert the speculum to visualize the cervix. Inject local anesthetic into the cervix. A loop attached to diathermy is used to perform large loop exchange of the transformation zone. Once the procedure is fully performed, watch for any bleeding and remove the speculum. Now from NHS cervical screening guideline algorithms, we will try to find out where comes the role of large loop exchange of the transformation zone. When we plan the colposcopy examination in patient in whom we suspect cervical intraepithelial neoplasia and the sample is found to be inadequate and index high risk HPV is positive and cytology low grade, we repeat colposcopy in 12 months time. And when the sample is inadequate again, we go for large loop exchange of the transformation zone after asking about patient choice. But if index high risk HPV is positive cytology high grade or borderline that is endocervical cytology then we go straight away for large loop exchange of the transformation zone. If on colposcopic examination we detect any abnormality like SIN2 or more we go for the treatment in the form of large loop exchange of the transformation zone. If that abnormality is in the form of cervical glandular intraepithelial neoplasia, we go for the treatment in the form of large loop exchange of the transformation zone. After that, in both cases, we recall the patient in six months time uh, in order to do the HPV testing and we plan accordingly, according to this algorithm. For the detailed study of NHS cervical screening program, you can go to the link given in the i button in the top right corner of this video. So thank you so much. That was all about large loop exchange of the transformation zone and algorithms from NHS cervical screening program. Subscribe on Obsent Guiding. 
Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.